It's the final day of the SAC Holiday Tournament. Semi-final games in the morning and afternoon with the championships coming up in the evening. Interim coach Kara Ankenbrook and the Homestead girls getting a tough test against Bishop Lourdes. Sydney Graber lays it off glass and in. She leads Homestead again with 21 points. Lourdes still fighting in the fourth and apparent drive and baseline. She'll score here. She finishes with eight. But Homestead holds on, dribbling out the final seconds to earn a 44-38 win. Southside takes on Northrop next, a game that will have a special place in tournament history. Early in the game, Tiana White inside to score. Another solid effort from her, finishing with 17. But this one quickly turns into the J.C. Jones show. Darts in for the and one in the first quarter. And now we jump ahead to the fourth. Jones approaching the girls' scoring record hits this three as we enter the final minute of play. With seconds remaining, Jones goes to the line, hits a pair of free throws, and that reaches 41 points, breaking the mark of 40. Deja Wimby set back in 2014. J.C. and the Archers advance with a 72-48 win. I just pushed myself. I played the whole game. You just, I, just, I still involved my team, but I, still, I just shot the ball well. It was great. It was intense. It was take hard work and get, get good shots and make them. Coach Marty Beasley and Carroll go up against Northrop's boys team now. Late second quarter, Sam Stryker on the baseline. Nice delivery to Ryan Preston for the corner three. Preston puts in 10 in the semifinal game. Final seconds of the half, Quaylen Pettis with the buzzer beater three. Bruins head to halftime with a one-point lead. But Carroll takes control after that. Chargers go into Stryker here, puts up the short jumper. And that shot will drop. Stryker finishes with 10. Chargers advance to the title game with a 53-32 win. The last semifinal features Snyder and Homestead, and it's the most competitive game of the round. Zach Kruger up close gets the roll here. Excellent game for Kruger, leading Homestead with 26. Michael Ely also on a big individual run. Three-pointer on its way and in. Ely posts a game high with 31 points. Homestead trying to pull away in the third. Nice pass to setting up a bucket inside for Alec Grinsfelder. Snyder keeping pace. Three-point misses here, but Duff right there for the rebound and putback. Duff goes for 16, including the go-ahead score in the final seconds. Snyder wins 65-63. And Purdue wrapping up non